Hi guys, welcome back to another recipe video. Today we're going to be making super simple kale chips using just these simple ingredients you see on your screen here. Usually I would also use garlic powder, however I was out this day so we just went without and they turned out great. Here's the kale, I've already torn that into bite sized pieces and washed it and let it dry for a while. Um, this was two bunches of organic kale from Sprouts and let's get started. So we're just going to juice um, the entire lemon straight into our high speed blender and you probably don't need a high speed blender to make this. Um, you might just need to uh, soak your cashews and your um, sunflower seeds overnight rather than just for a couple of hours. Um, so just go ahead and juice that lemon in there. And I was having trouble <laughs> getting leverage so you see I'm a, you might want to start on the countertop. Makes it a little easier. All right, next to go in is going to be our soaked cashews and uh, sunflower seeds. Now these are both raw and they soaked for a couple of hours. Um, I went ahead and reserved the soaking liquid, so that's about a cup, maybe about a cup and a quarter of soaking liquid. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of onion. I would also add a tablespoon of garlic had I had it that day. Um, and then this ended up to be just about a tablespoon, a little bit less than a tablespoon of paprika because I was running low on that as well. <laughs> All right, and then we've got here two thirds cup of nutritional yeast. And then salt to taste. I want to say it was probably about, I don't know, half a teaspoon or so. It wasn't a lot, just enough, just enough. All right, and then what you're gonna do now is you're just going to um, blend this up on low and medium until it gets to a grainy texture, and then you can kick it up to high, adding the liquid as you go. Um, I did end up using the entire um, soaking liquid, so approximately a cup, cup and a quarter. Um, but you'll see the consistency here in just a moment um, and be able to um, duplicate that. Kicking it up to high and then this is the consistency we're going for so just a really smooth <clears throat> excuse me um like a pasty type consistency you don't want it too thin because then it won't stick to the chips you don't want it too thick because then it'll just clump off of them um, when they dehydrate okay so you're going to take your washed kale and put that in a bowl this is actually the second bowl that i did but i didn't turn the camera on for the first one so um, you're going to do this in batches because it is a lot of kale and uh, just pour that sauce right on top there and then we're just going to massage this in. Um, I really love the curly curly kale for this because um, it's got all the nooks and crannies that will really hold on to the um, coating there um, and it just gets extra crispy in the dehydrator so um, in order to get that, that um, coating into all those nooks and crannies you really need to massage it for um, a few minutes and get that really worked in so then we're just gonna add sauce and add kale until everything's all coated evenly and looking um, good there So then you're going for, and the camera doesn't pick it up as well as you can see it in person, but just really evenly coated, the coating distributed over all of the kale and it really worked into the nooks and crannies. And then we're just going to put this right on our dehydrator trays and um, spread it out just a little bit, um, making sure to leave, you know, enough space that they uh, will dehydrate well. If they're piled up on top of each other, it's just going to take longer. and there's going to be like soggy spots so just spread it out really well there. I ended up getting um, three uh, pretty full sheets and one yeah, about a half full sheet so about three and a half sheets.
Okay, so this is my last tray, and you'll see it's not quite a full tray. Um, and then we're just going to uh, stick those into the dehydrator. You can also do these in the oven, just turning your oven down to its lowest temperature. Mine is 170, and cracking the door about two inches, and um, using like an, a cake cooling rack. Um, and then you would just basically dehydrate it right there in the oven. It's going to take um, probably a little bit, obviously a little bit less time, so you would have to monitor it for your desired Christmas, um, but it's totally doable in an oven. Alright, here's those crispy chips. These turn out so crispy, guys. You're gonna love this recipe. You gotta give it a try. It's... All right, guys, if you try this recipe, please comment down below on how you liked it. And if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Till next time, bye.